most exciting part for me about riding a boosted board is the freedom. Whether you're going uphill or downhill, like you always have power, you always have control. I used to always dream about flying, and that was like one reason I went into aerospace engineering. As a kid, I remember just imagining the hoverboard, you know, back to the future, and then when the Segway came out and people described it as being like a magic carpet, I was like, oh, that's awesome. You know, how could you make it feel like that, but also look like something that you would want to ride? I'm Matt Tran. I'm John Alden. And I'm Sanjay Destour. We're the co-founders of Boosted. Boosted board is an electric longboard. So this is our wireless remote, and then you have a thumb wheel up here that you rotate to control the throttle. And if I push it forward, see that the skateboard accelerates, and if I push it back, it'll slow down. The key aspect of it is portability. The portability means you can use it in what we call like a multimodal transportation system, right? So you can carry it inside another vehicle. So the last mile problem is when you are taking the public transit and you arrive at a station, but that's not your final destination. Your final destination is your home or your office. That's where our vehicle fits in, is being able to get you from the bus stop or train station to the office or home. Even though the parts that are on the skateboard are from the RC industry, like people think of them as toys, there's a lot of power in some of those devices. The boards we sell, we limit to under 20 miles an hour for safety reasons, but the potential is, you know, significantly above that. I'm not going to be caught on record <laughs> telling you how fast I think our product could really go, but <laughs> it could go fast. Yeah. If you think about um, not just around here, but even in places in the world where the cost to charge your cell phone is a cost, then the cost of charging your vehicle, I mean, even if you could build a very affordable electric car, it's still probably not the most efficient way of getting around in most of these places. And so our vision for this is, can you build just more sustainable transportation in general that appeals to a larger and more global audience? We think our real angle here is that we're really attacking the lightweight side. We're trying to make a vehicle that is ultra light and ultra portable. But we're also trying to do this without sacrificing the feel of a normal skateboard or longboard. There's something very simple and pure about a skateboard. You know, it's just wheels um, and board. It's really all you need to get around. You know, we initially, when we were looking at who was going to buy this, then we figured it would be longboarders. Um, we've had a good number of customers, about half of them, saying, you know, we've never tried longboarding before, I've never been on one of these things before, I've never tried any kind of board sport, and they've, they've really enjoyed it as well. But further along, like, there's obviously more accessible types of vehicles that you could build for our moms or for, you know, just the more general population that's not into the board sport experience. When we came out with this product, a lot of people were like, wow, this is you know, exactly what we've been you know, needing to get around, like San Francisco and, and other like, city areas. I think it's a mix of bringing really challenging and like, new technology to sports that we already love and seeing them become even better and seeing us able to do things that we couldn't do before.